netherite, the strongest material in Minecraft. It's not actually a metal in real life though, right? Or is it? Surely this neglected notion that this new netherite material might be a real life mineral could be true, right? There might not actually be a metal called netherite, but could there actually be evidence of this being a real life metal? And I even searched the entire internet and I couldn't find a single answer. A single answer. Well, I did find something on Reddit, actually, but it's clearly a joke. And could we actually be able to buy this? Well, that's what we're finding out today. First, let's take a look at the netherite crafting recipe. As you can see, it's 50% gold. It's also 50% netherite scrap. So we can conclude that netherite is 12k gold. We know this because 12 karat gold contains 50% gold and 50% alloys. This perfectly describes the netherite crafting recipe. So we know that netherite is an alloy. A metal made by combining two or more metallic elements, especially to give greater strength or resistance to corrosion. So we can conclude that netherite is an alloy. So the real question is, what is a netherite scrap? So the obvious solution here is to compare the properties of netherite to the properties of other metals, then whichever is the closest is most likely netherite scrap. We know that netherite scrap must have a very high melting point. We know this because netherite is the only material in Minecraft that actually cannot burn. We know that netherite is also very dense and tough. This is because it has the highest durability and it's the strongest weapon and armor. We also know that it must be pretty malleable, which basically means it can be molded without breaking or cracking. There has to be some way for netherite to be molded around diamond, right? It has to be able to be combined with gold, and it must be extremely rare. In fact, it's the most rarest ore in Minecraft. So now we know about the properties of netherite, which can help determine what metal is it. But where do we start? I mean, there are literally thousands of minerals. Thousands of minerals! Like, where are we gonna start? How are we going to use process of elimination to determine which one is it? Well, remember in the beginning of the video how I said that netherite is a gold alloy? And some common gold alloys are Zinc, Copper, Nickel, Iron, Cadmium, Aluminum, Silver, Platinum, and Palladium. I'm aware there could even be more candidates to what could be netherite. And I even thought tungsten could be one. but. Stick with me here for a second, it'll all add up later. So whichever metal has the properties closest to netherite must be the imposter, I, I mean, is the netherite scrap. Let's first measure their melting temperature. The average temperature for lava is 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the metal's temperature is less than 2200 degrees, they'll be kicked out. Using this logic, we can confirm that cadmium is out at 609 degrees Fahrenheit, zinc is out at 787 degrees Fahrenheit, aluminium is out at 1221 degrees Fahrenheit, silver is out at 1763 degrees Fahrenheit, and copper is out at 1984 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry copper, but you were pretty sus. We've now eliminated some of our potential candidates. It's getting really close. I wonder what it'll be. So nickel safe at 2,651 degrees Fahrenheit, iron at 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit, platinum at 3,215 degrees Fahrenheit, palladium at 2,831 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's judge how rare they are. Nickel is out being the fifth most common element, and iron is out at being the fourth most common element. Platinum and Palladium are our final contestant. So, our final two. Platinum and Palladium. So which one is it, you might ask? Let's first judge their rarity. They're both pretty rare metals, but Palladium is one of the rarest metals on Earth, and even more scarce than Platinum. 
So, Palladium wins the first round in rarity. Round 2. Let's next judge them by their strength. So in this department, Platinum is slightly stronger than Palladium. So Platinum wins this round in terms of strength. So now, the final variable. Let's next measure their heat resistance. Is the winner going to be Platinum? Or is it going to be Palladium? Leave your theories in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think it is. Let's go back to the beginning of the video where I said that Platinum has a higher melting point than Palladium. So Platinum must be Netherite. But hang on, I know you. You want to know the price of this thing. So you could buy it too. I know my claims that Platinum is Netherite scrap seems absurd and non-evidence based. And I wasn't 100% sure too until I saw this. Platinum meets all the requirements. It's dense and malleable. And it's one of the most rarest metals on Earth. If we analyze the periodic table, we can see that Platinum and Gold are right next to each other. It's even found near Gold and Diamonds which are the ingredients needed to make netherite equipment. Now, while doing the research for this video, I found a very interesting article, one which definitely proved that netherite is platinum. Made up of a combination of platinum and gold, the new material is apparently 100 times more wear resistant than high strength steel, which makes it the first metal alloy to be in the same class as diamond." End quote. So we now know that netherite is a platinum gold alloy, one that's even stronger than diamond. Now let's determine the price. A typical netherite ingot is 27.5 pounds, so if we divide that by half, we need to find the price of both of them. Typically a gold ingot of 13.75 pounds is about $378,300. On average, the price of platinum at 13.75 pounds is about $175,700. If you want to, pause the video and try to guess what you think the price is. No calculators. So if we add these two numbers up, the price of netherite is $554,000. Um, remember how I said you could buy it? Well, um... Probably not, unless you're like a millionaire or something. Uh, so yeah, sorry viewers. Wait, before you click off, what if I told you that there's actually evidence that netherite was used in Piglin society? Now, you might think I'm crazy, but hold on, see what I mean. This could even explain the mysterious Piglin lore, which hasn't been fully understood yet. So here's my proof. So civilizations like the pre-Columbian Americans actually used netherite equipment, technically. See, to work on metal, they would combine gold and platinum to create tools. I don't know about you, but that definitely sounds like something a piglin civilization would do, especially with all that gold and platinum they would have lying around. If this was actually used in real life, then surely it's likely that this could have happened in Minecraft too, right? So here's me out. Here's my theory. When pigs were able to come into the nether somehow, they evolved into piglins. On the way, they became sentient too. Okay, I'll admit there's still some things, some mysteries here. But anyways, they probably saw all the gold and platinum lying around and they thought, hey, let's use these for tools. So when they combined these two together, they made a super strong alloy. Now, this doesn't fully explain everything because I don't know about the diamond part, but hang on. And some more proof to back this up is, you know how ancient debris cannot actually spawn next to air? Well, this might be because piglins mined up all the ancient debris that was exposed because they can't mine too far deep. But hey, that's just a hypothesis. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking. And if you really enjoyed the video, 
also consider subscribing. I'm planning on making a lot more quality content, so stay tuned.